Hey everybody, it is Tim Burrows here and I just wanted to do a little bit of a talk about Facebook and how to ensure that you can get your information from Facebook uh, in their newsfeed to get it properly shared, to get it properly viewed, to make sure eyes are staying on it. There is no secret at all to the fact that Facebook views you as a commodity. You are data. One of the things that you have to do, and they, or sorry, one of the things that you have to understand is what happens with the content that you put onto Facebook. It is measured in an algorithm. Great to see people joining on the uh, the Periscope here. I am scoping this. I'm also recording this for the police podcast. I'm gonna make sure that I can double off this content. St. Louis PD, good to see you. Scott Ford, awesome to see you. Um, I wanted to just say that when you share the information onto Facebook, whatever it is, whether uh, it's a post about a wanted person, a great public safety message, a uh, be on the lookout. Hey, Sergeant TCS, how are you doing? Good to see you all the way from across the pond. Uh, anyways, uh, so people that are listening to this on the podcast understand at the same time that I'm doing this, I'm also talking to people on Periscope, as they call it, I am scoping. Uh, hey, people on Scope, uh, if you're watching this, tap that screen. I want to see what color hearts you have. Uh, everybody gets signed different color hearts. Tap, tap, tap. Let me see the, the love that you can share. Uh, let me see that you're actually seeing this message. That's probably the most important thing, the reason why I'd be here on Scope. Uh, the other thing that I want to make sure, LASM Chief, good to see you back here on Periscope. Um, so understand how this works with Facebook. It's all based on an algorithm. It's mathematics. Uh, I don't understand it exactly how it works. I just know that A plus B equals C, C plus or minus D will equal EFG, if then, all those things that work into the algorithm that says, hey, this person's putting up great content. The reason they do that, Facebook's free. So the price that you pay for having a free service like Facebook and using their infrastructure is something as simple as you are data. You are a commodity, and that data is sold to advertisers in two ways. Number one, literally, they are sharing your data. Number two, they're sharing the information of how long people are staying on a post, how many likes a post is getting, how often a post is being shared, how the view of that content is being seen that you post. So there's five things you need to do to trick the algorithm of Facebook so that your content gets pushed up into the newsfeed, gets shared more places or you can pay to play. And that's one of the hardest things to do in policing and law enforcement is to invest tax dollars, good hard earned tax dollars that have to be used for public safety and policing. You can pay to put your stuff on Facebook. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, it's gonna allow your content to be seen more readily by more people. Uh, hopefully if you are paying to play, you are putting that conversation or that the content directly into your community first. That's the first place you should be targeting any paid content. But beyond that, if you are not paying for content, and it's understandable why some people won't, why some people can't, uh, you have to do everything you can to make sure that your content rises to the top of the newsfeed. So first tip when you want to do that, pictures. Facebook algorithm loves pictures. People love pictures, and that's why the two work together. So if you can put up a great picture with your content, that grabs people's attention. Sometimes that picture can actually tell your story or it can share information. So you want to make sure you put up a picture. The better the picture, the, the better the view rate is going to be. The more people will like it, the more chance there is people will share it. Um, so that's one, one tip. Number two tip, video. Facebook loves video. Their algorithm loves video. Which one of us watching this, this uh, scope or listening to the podcast can't also relate to the fact that we love viewing video. It's the voyeuristic nature of life. We love seeing what other people are doing. We love seeing the downfalls and the pitfalls that people may have. Again, if you're on scope, I wanna see some taps on that screen. Let me see some hearts. I wanna see them floating up. Uh, let me know that you're actually receiving this content and you're enjoying what you're seeing. So that was number two, video. Um, once Facebook put native video into their algorithm, into their system where you could just take a video that you have and post it up to Facebook as opposed to putting it on YouTube and sharing the link. Thank you for the hearts, love to see that. Uh, once you put that information right into Facebook, it rises to the top automatically because of the fact that video is so great. Now, if you're gonna use video, you gotta be careful on a few things. We have a very short attention span as human beings, and I think the last study said that uh, goldfish have an attention span of nine seconds, human beings, eight seconds. So if you're gonna use video, you gotta grab the content, you gotta grab their attention, in that first eight seconds to make them want to stay. If you have great compelling content, such as a movie, you can do a two hour video. 
most people will not sit on Facebook and watch a two hour video. The attention span is too short. That's not what they're there for. So try to keep your videos to a maximum of three minutes. If you can get into that 30 second to a minute and 30 second and tell your story and provide everything you can, um, then you've got a great option. Uh, St. Louis County PD, is there a point where you're putting too many pics in one post? Yes and no. Uh, if you can tell your story with one picture, that's great. But think about a community event where you've taken dozens of pictures with lots of the community and, and you really wanna share that story. That is a great thing to do. What I would suggest then is to make a, uh, a photo album for it. And that way you can put all of that content into one place, share it on. Truly, there's no such thing as too many pictures, provided the pictures are all telling a story and they're all great use. So thanks, that was a great question about uh, one too many or if there are too many pictures. After pictures and videos, the next piece of interaction I would love to see is just that, interaction and engagement. Now that can come in the form of a like, that can come in the form of a content, that can come in the form of a share. So that's what you want your community to do. You want them to interact and engage with you, but don't forget the other side of it. If somebody takes the time to comment on a post that you do, to me, that's the number one term of engagement that you can have. If somebody takes the time to actually write in, if it's appropriate, respond to them. Say, thanks for the comment. Really appreciate it. Great insight. Or if it was a question, answer their question or tell them straight out, I don't have the answer for that. I will find it out for you and get back to you and use that opportunity to build that relationship with your community to engage with them. When somebody does leave a comment, comment and it's not appropriate to, uh, to give a reply, uh, for example, if they just said, hey, that was great uh, information you posted, appreciate it, like it, like their comment. Yes, you are liking on your own page, but you are liking someone's comment. It's not the same as liking your own content. Lots of people argue different ways on whether that's kind of spammy or gross or not, but you can do that very, very simply. Liking somebody's comment is great because they see it, they feel that they've been appreciated for the time that you put in for them. Darren Dake, thank you for coming back. I see you here on the Periscope. Uh, appreciate it, Corner Talk podcast. Get, they get on that, and download it. Um, after pictures, videos, interaction, and engagement, next thing we wanna make sure is you're sharing great content. Now that's different than putting up your own. For example, uh, yesterday, Arlington, Texas Police Department started their own hashtag, hashtag why I wear the badge campaign. Uh, it's been going on with the International Association of Chiefs of Police on Twitter, at IACP the IACP, um, they put up some great content and it was a, a video of why three of their members wear their badge. That is something that is really going to resonate with the public. It's going to get likes on their page. Well, it's great content for all policing and law enforcement, so share it onto your page as well. There's a trickle down effect. People are liking it on their page. Well, share their content onto your page. People will more than likely also like it on yours because if it's great content, it's great content. Doesn't matter whether it's yours or not. Sorry, I'm going to jump back to video again. That number two point. Back to video. Even if it's not your own videos that you're putting up, use it. If it's a great piece of comedy that is appropriate, uh, if it's a great public safety message from someone else, use it uh, and put up. If, if let's say you're doing Monday to Friday posts of videos, do one every day, pretty much at the same time. People get used to the fact that you're going to see that. Facebook gets used to the fact that people are seeing videos on your page and people are liking it. They're going to start to organically boost your information. So that was another point on video. Sorry I jumped around there. So again, share great content from other agencies, from public safety partners, from your community. How about from your own uh, BIAs, your, your business associations? Put their information on your page. It's a community, folks, and that's what you're trying to build and you're trying to establish. You are part of the community, a very important part. Lastly, and this is where it's been contentious. Some people will say that the maximum post for Facebook should be around 80 characters, between 40 and 80. That was true then, but this is now. So one of the things that Facebook changed, it was about a month ago, I believe, uh, when they changed their algorithm, was they recognized that we may spend a lot of time reading somebody's content, but we don't like it. We don't share it, we don't comment it, but because it was compelling or it was really thought provoking, we put our eyes on their content for a long time. Facebook's recognized that even the engagement might not happen, but because you were there, it's gonna boost your information or that information. So long, sticky content. So if you have content that you can put up that is really relevant, that is really good in long form, do it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's automatically going to get shortened in the newsfeed anyways, and if people want to continue to read, it'll hit see more. 
So with that, make sure that your first few lines are great content that compels people to read more so that their eyes are on it longer. Then if you get some contact or content in uh, integration and engagement, great. If you put up a picture with that long sticky content, great. If you put up a video with that long sticky content, let's say you've got a transcription from the video, throw it in there. If people want to read it, they can. Either way, you are increasing your odds of being seen with this information. If you're enjoying this, I'm loving the hearts. Thank you so much for tapping the hearts. I appreciate that. Uh, something else that you can do because we are uh, on Periscope, you can share the fact that we're on this Periscope on Twitter. If you're on iOS, all you've got to do is swipe and hit share broadcast. If you're on Android, the same thing, swipe up, swipe across, across that way since we're on video, uh, and share this broadcast. I'd really appreciate it. It's going to share the information that we're out here. We're trying to help our communities. We're trying to help our law enforcement agencies um, to do everything we can. We are part of a community. You want to build that community. Using tips like this will allow that to happen. Uh, great. Thank you very much for the comment there. Great information, solid tips. I hope so. I really want to make sure that I'm bringing the best I can bring to you to make sure that your Facebook presence, your Twitter presence, your Instagram presence, whatever presence you have in the social and digital space, I want to make it as best as possible for you it's because I know that that information is going to go out there. Vera, my girl, thank you very much. Uh, I'm not using your, your St. Louis County PD. Oops, I just did. Um, thank you so much for sharing that information and, and, and the feedback there. I appreciate it. When you do this information, when you share this kind of content, you increase your odds of the Facebook algorithm saying, hey, this agency, this person shares great information, or you go against the odds and try to pay to play. Nothing wrong with it, like I said, but if you can do it organically, if you can get the love from your community, if you can build the trust and engagement in there with them, build those relationships, be transparent in everything you do, you are gonna have a much easier time within your community. Remember, things are gonna go bad. The more goodwill we build, the more value we give to our audience, the more value you give to your community, the greater it is seen and appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks you so much for watching the Periscope and taking the time. I appreciate it. I know everybody's got a business day, so let's cut this short. Thanks again. Uh, hey, this information originally, if you want to see it in long form, you can see it on Facebook. You can see it, uh, links on Twitter. You can see it on my blog, walkingthesocialmediabeat.com. You can also, you would have had this information before anybody else if you were signed up to my newsletter because my newsletter list got this information first. If you would like to sign up to my newsletter, here's the easiest way you can possibly do it. You're on a mobile device probably watching this or you've got a phone nearby because you're watching it on a tablet. Go to your messages where you can text. Need you to text Tim1266. That's my name, Tim, with the numbers 1266. Type that in to the number 33444. That will put you on my newsletter list. That text will be received. Then you're going to get a, hey, thank you very much. Then you're going to respond just by putting your email address and you will be on that list. You will get this kind of information first before anybody else. Again, type or text to the number 33444 and the words Tim1266. And that'll take care of it all. Again, thank you very much. Much love. I really appreciate the time that you're here. Uh, I can't say enough. Thank you so much. Have a great day.